Hey there, Russell Traders. David here of TradingFibs.com in a live trade on June 20th, 2013. Got a lot of ins and outs today. I'm on uh, 9 by 10 contracts. I'm one runner on and a stop up at my break even point. I was waiting all day for a entry below the one hour open range. Had a couple slight opportunities. Back from the morning session, which we had breakouts below the 25-minute open range, but some major resistance here, a lot of chop action during today. Market internals have just been all red all day, so looking for that momentum new, momentum move finally happened. <clears throat> had a opportunity here to capture some ticks, but now we are uh, in the move of the day that I had uh, shared with uh, earlier in my trading room, and first contract came off at 958.50 which was the first target uh, option to move the stop to 958.5 and get out of the trade or my eventual target, which is down here at 953.8, front running that to 954. That is the daily S3 and weekly S2. That is where I believe the market is headed uh, today. Market internals, you can see, has really been biased to the downside. Uh, so these little chops up has just been taking people out, in and out, in and out, we're a day before quad witching, almost a day to almost not trade. Uh, that's why I have so many uh, contracts today. Again, the, the line here, the AD line, being at negative 1,500 most of the day has just really held the momentum from going any lower. Yes, market breadth has really um, been decreasing all day. If we take a look at our other market internals, we could see, uh, I'm sorry, the market indices, you could see the price action is now all under 25 minute open range but for the majority of the day has all been chopping up and so making it not an easy trading day by any standard uh, this is in a nice smooth day but we have EMA crossover here we have EMA crossover here I know we've had other opportunities today with EMA crossover that took us out so 10 ticks here 10 ticks there 5 ticks um, but again here is the long range trade that I was waiting for all day Looking for a final target around daily, uh, weekly S2 and daily S3. Come back on when we are near the target or I've decided to move my stop closer. Again, we're at a break-even point, so this is a no-loss trade. All right, so price action is still pretty much here at the low of the day. Um, have not decided to move my stop yet, giving us a little bit of breathing room. I have no blue Heikinashi turnarounds. I might move my stop down to just 958.5 if I do have a turnaround on my hike in Ashi bars, but right now momentum still clearly to the downside. Sometimes when we have a stall in the market, an option to simply um, maybe get out of the trade. Again, everything below momentum is your trading management style, where you take your contracts off, no recommendations. Just telling you that the move is here. Price level right here at 958.5 was where the targets came off. But as you can see, momentum still driving down. The EMA crossover, the Heiken Ashi bars with the solid bars with the tail down sell signal. And the 4 EMA here, the 5 under the 13, 21, and 80. We're up 770 for the day. And this runner, we're up $280. I'm willing to risk that one runner of $280 just even though I'm going to lock in profit. At some point, as we near closer, I have the option of just taking out all my contracts or just keep moving my stop down until clearly taken out as a trailing stop. Again, target uh, is 953.8, which is the weekly S2 and the daily S3. All right, the market clearly not ready to come down any lower. I'm starting to form a blue hike in Ashi candle. Going to, as soon as this uh, candle starts uh, has formed and we begin the next candle. I will then move my stop down to 958.6. Give me a little bit of give me a little bit of room, but I'm okay. Come out of the trade, even though the target is down below. Possibly a possible re-entry if I break the loan down 956.7. Again, waiting on the First blue Heiken Ashi bar here to form, and then I will place my stop at 958.6. Market internals have had a slight turnaround on the tick. We have a nice climb back up, but again, momentum is still to the downside. 
market breath, decreasing, AD line coming a little bit down. Still pretty much flat, 15, uh, it's been pretty much at 15, 1500 for the day. Again, I have the option of just push, putting the uh, putting the stop there. Once my blue hike and Aoshi bar is formed, I will then go ahead and put that in. I will not move that stop. And that's why I wait. Because once I place a stop, I do not move that stop. Okay, price action is clearly decided that it is no, does not want to go up. So our stop at this point is still in the same place. Our red candle, our blue candle is turned to red. Heikinashi, solid body, tail down, still indicates selling here. We're at the low of the day with a target at 9.54, 9.53.50. Weekly S2 and daily S3 with still room to go. We have our 4 EMA here, 5 under 13.2180. We have about 20 ticks to run here. We're up at a profit of 800, $300 on this runner if you want to lock in more profit. If I do be, uh, start to break this low here, my thinking is to, again, I'll probably move my stop here then to 950, 8.50. Just give me a little bit of breathing room here. I want to see momentum continue to drive down. Okay, so as we can see here, Heikinashi bars are continuing down. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put my stop here at 958.5. And at least lock in $140 on that one contract. Give this some, give this some room here. And we are approximately 956.4. Almost 24 ticks away from our target. Market internals on the tick vacillating a little bit. We are at almost one hour to the close. I'd rather be out of this trade at this point. Don't like trading the last hour, but again, I'm already in the trade, so I will work the trade until I am completely out of it. Market breadth has been coming down. AD lines, now we're getting a little worse. We're at 1,600, so market momentum bringing even this down a little bit further. And let's take a look at our price action on our other indices are also coming down in the red underneath the one hour and 25 minute open ranges. Russell following suit. Stop at 958.50. We'll lock in at least 140 on this runner. We are at the low of the day, continuing on under 4 EMA. Price action coming down. Target at 9.54. I do have a target at 9.54.6 in case I wanted to front run that a little bit. But I believe the weekly S2 will be the line in the sand. Some, showing some more weakness here. We are $440 on this runner. Again, choice to management style. You can lock in more. At this point to me, it's a no loss trade. So the fact that I have my stop there is fine. 954.6, I do have a Surrey range S3 line. But with weekly S2 and daily S3 at the same spot, I'm going to front run that. And that be my final contract off at the target. 955.2. We're approximately 12 ticks away from the target. Heikinashi bar is keeping you in the trade. My emotion is clearly intact. One runner on, $450. Now, I don't want to give all that back being that it is one contract. 
So if in any way I do turn up with a blue Heikenashi candle, I will probably move my stop down. Market internals turning south. And 9.54 being our target. 9.54.6, I do have another target, so there might be a little bit of a bounce here. I could choose to just come out here. So being that momentum is still carrying down, I will hold on and come back on as soon as we get closer to the target. Okay, price action at that first target in 954.6. Looking at 954 coming off. Market internals bringing this down. Like an Ashi candles keeping me in the trade. 954.5. Five, breaking under weekly S2 coming up. 953.3. I'm going to front run this and and buy one tick there. And the trade is. Come on. Give me a tick here. Weekly S2 at 953.8. And we are going to take this or not. A lot of action down here at the bottom. Go ahead and move this stop halfway. Don't want it to run all the way back up. 954. Go ahead and move this stop to 956.4. I think we'll we'll get it. We will get it. One tick away. That weekly S2 will hold it. Could expect the bounce back up. And three, two, one. Here we go. Market internals really driving down now. We're at negative sixteen hundred. Market breath. Negative three eighty one on the tick. Russell internal 954.6 is holding up here and this is a line of support. So I have the option of moving my limit up and coming out, but I'm going to go ahead and stay in here. I believe we are down near these two targets. We are bound to hit them. Might be a little fighting here before we get to it. And take me out. Here we go. Two ticks away. One and we are out. Done. Stop taking off. Ten contracts for the day. Let's flatten out our contracts. There we go. Heikenashi candles still coming down. Price action has not hit the weekly S2 yet. I did front run that, so 953.8 is still the, the target with the daily S3. And the market internals following through on the red AD line has come down to 1600. Market breath still coming down, and all of our market indices falling in the afternoon session. I will not get back in a trade at this point in the last hour of the trading day. I have successfully reached my target and will be done. Tomorrow's quad witching day. I would avoid any kind of trading for the day, so probably won't be back till next week. Hope you got a little piece of this uh, trade from the 25 minute OR all the way down underneath the one hour open range. A little bit of choppy action today. Not a great, uh, not a great trading day of all sorts. But as soon as the price momentum did move, it did reach the uh, target, and so we are one one tick short of the. Uh, uh, actually, we hit it. We hit the weekly S two at nine fifty three eight and have bounced back up. So, have yourself a good day.